I'm Sarah, professional makeup artist and licensed esthetician, and I'm going to show you how to apply dark eyeshadow. It's always a good idea to keep the dark colors in the crease of the eye. Never put it on the brow bone. It just doesn't look right. And when you're also working with dark colors, you want to start with the dark first because then you can go back with the light to cover up anything if it got too dark. So first I'm going to start with just placing some of the brown powder that we have in her crease, kind of where, where I want it, where I, th I think it'll look the best, you know. Also, a key to using dark is just blending. It's very, very important to blend so things don't look cloudy. So now we can blend this and contour it to where we want, but I am going to put a nice highlighter on her brow bone to help us define that and know where to keep the dark from coming up. It's going to stop right around there. So when you're applying dark eyeshadow, always have a light eyeshadow as well with you. Okay. So now I'm just going to apply like a neutral tone to her lid, um, which is lighter than the dark color that we're using, but darker than the highlighter. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of blending now to bring it up a little bit. When you're blending, you want to use a blending brush kind of like this with soft bristles at the end that allow you to press the skin and move in little circles. That's what you want. So we can go back with a little bit more. And that's the key to brown is just do it using a little bit of a time or in any dark color, just a little bit at a time. So now, back to the blending. Okay. We'll go back in with our neutral tone. And just make sure that with the dark, it looks even on both sides. I think that's just really important. Something for you to keep in mind. Dark eyeshadow is a great night look. It really is. Okay, her dark eyeshadow look is complete. Thanks for watching, and for more tips, check out glowbysarah.com.